So I do not understand men. I don't. I have 27 guys that have matched with me that I've never met in person. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Am I not cute enough? So I'm just sitting here trying to understand why I look this good and I am this single. <sighs> Ladies, it's come a time in the world, <laughs> in America, where men have finally woken up and they no longer are hypnotized simply by a pretty face. <laughs> the days of simply thinking just because you look good and because you got a nice body that men are going to be flocking and going to be pretty much, you know, uh, putting you on a pedestal. It's still going to be some dudes out there simping. Don't get me wrong. But there are far more now where men are waking up more. I think the simps might still outnumber, but simps don't really even have, usually have game like that anyway. And it'd be corny. Anyway, <laughs> more men are waking up and realizing that you're not worth the time. Your looks may be top tier, but what else do you bring and offer? And if you cannot name it, and if it's nothing that is going to actually be a benefit to a man's life, then men are pretty much deciding just to walk away and go with a better option or stay single, at least for the time being. Okay, boys, I'm a single 30-year-old woman. I do my own yard work. I pay my own bills. I pay my own taxes. I keep my dog alive, wherever he is. What am I doing wrong? You just basically named off what it is to be an adult. You do yard work. Congratulations. Big whoop. Who cares? You pay your bills. Welcome to being over 18 years old. Adulthood. You take care of a dog. Once again, a 10-year-old could do that. What? Who cares? You got a job. Who cares? Nobody cares about... Men don't care about that type of stuff. You just list off stuff that a human can do. I could have... You could have wrote that on a piece of paper and I wouldn't be able to tell if that was a man or a woman listing off their traits of what they offer and what they bring to the table. You offer nothing of value that would make a man say, hmm, you know what? She seems like she'd be dateable. You know what? She seems like a cool girl and a girl I like to get to know. Well, because you do yard work, you, oh, I guess that means you're handy or whatever. Like, men don't care. Like, okay, it's cool if you offer that and if that comes along with the package. But please understand, that ain't the main features that men are looking for. That's like those additional features that come with the package. That's just extras that come along free with it. Like men want the main stuff. Men want to know, are you a nurturer? Are you a care provider? You know, things of that nature. Are you so, you know, are you who's one's going to be loyal? Are you going to hold back? Are you going to back them up? You know, do you have morals and, and high principles? These type of things. Men don't care about this stuff where you're just naming off a list of skills pretty much. Like, what are you do, applying for a job? You guys, I had a date last week. Hmm. You'd assume it went well, right? And it did for the most part. Well, anyway, the biggest red flag that I ignored, which I probably shouldn't have, was his energy change towards me. Don't get a girl used to you saying good morning, good night, and then all of a sudden stop. I understand we're adults, we get busy with work or whatnot, but at least say that. And I noticed his energy change after he went to a friend's housewarming party. We had planned to meet twice. Both times he canceled on me. So we finally are able to meet up and we go on a date. Things go well. He asked to hang out again and I was like, sure, why not? Tell me why this man ends up ghosting me after telling me he had a good time and asking if I'm free again Sunday. But not really ghosting me because he's still watching my Instagram stories and still following me. When they say somebody pissed in the dating pool, that's an understatement. More like they had explosive diarrhea up in that bit. <laughs> you, she ain't telling the whole story. It was probably something about her. He's, she was probably his back, his backup. And you know, if the if the starter don't go down, ain't no need to call in the backup. So <laughs> there you go. Sometimes that happened. She, he probably had him a main piece. It was like you know what, let me keep her on the sidelines and you know what I gotta keep her you know in the loop at least a little bit just in case my starter go down 
I got to keep my backup ready. <laughs> you know, that's how it goes sometimes. And you know what? Every time he thought the starter wasn't going to be able to come through, <clears throat> always with the fourth quarter finish. And he didn't need to call in the backup. So you end up just taking the L. Sometimes that happened, ladies, like I said. And, if, and truth be told, guess that means you wasn't good enough to be the starter. So that means something was wrong with you where you need to work on that. Either way, <laughs> he, he, he proved his point. What they want and uh, good old fashioned down to earth genuine good guys because if there is let me know so i do not understand men i don't talked for two whole weeks to go on a date tonight ghosted and here i am on a sunday night about to give a relationship advice when i'm single but i will say ghosting there's no reason for it like from a woman's standpoint, just come out and say it. Bad bitches. Like, we don't need you to coddle us. We are fine. Tell it how it is. Say you're not interested or you found something better. Like, there's no reason to just vanish. Because we know you didn't. Come on now. Really, we're all trying to find love. Just say it. Listen, you're only getting back what women have done for years. How many times have women ghosted men? Have women not given a reason why they just stopped texting a guy or whatever or, and, and just pretty much just fell off the face of the earth when it comes? Now, the roles are being reversed. Now, men are starting to do that to women more. Like I said, you're realizing, they're realizing their value. They're realizing their potential. They're realizing that, hey, like I am someone who, you know what, I deserve, I'm the prize. And when you really understand that, that's when you really understand, you know what, that you hold the power and you got the leverage, fellas. So keep on doing what you're doing. And like I said, get on your focus. Get your fitness in shape. Get your fitness right. Get your financials right. Get your mindset right. And just get your, get your social skills up, man. So when you get out into that world, man, you get out there into the market, man, you're able to take control. You're able to have the leverage. You're able to make the moves that you want to make and get the outcomes that you want to get. That's what it's going to take in, the, in, the, in 2022 and beyond. It's no more. It's no. It's no more that where we walk, where you walking around and we putting and you putting women on pedestals. That's 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 over with. Uh, men are waking up every single day and realizing like it's not worth it to put up with the headache, the stress, the drama, and the issues that come with dating these modern women. And if you're not going to fall in line, and if you're not going to you know be someone who's going to show good character as a as a woman, then men are realizing like they would rather be alone. It's not worth it. It's, it. it's a waste of time. Like. Why put why go why I go through all the headache? Why I go through all the stress of dealing with the drama? It's it, it comes with too many consequences that most of the time the men end up taking having to take on those consequences and end up suffering in the end. So waking up realizing and cut your losses early, fellas, is the way to go. And don't stop doing that. Ghost them. Do whatever you got to do. If you don't want to talk to them, don't talk to them no more. I would say just tell them straight up. Me personally, but if you want to ghost them. I ain't going to be mad if you did. It's been going the other way for, for for years and years and years. So if that's how you feel about it now, you want to do that. You the position where you want to ghost because you got options or because, like I said, sometimes that starter come through and no need to call in the backup. And that's if that's the way you rolling and that's the way you moving, keep moving like that and doing your thing. Anyway, like I said from before, do me a favor. Just the road to 1,000 subscribers. Do me a favor. Hit that like, that subscribe button. Until next time.